The Wendigo is a scary monster from North America native legend that has been encountered by hunters and campers in the shadowy forests of the upper regions of Minnesota. It attacks those unlucky enough to cross its path and eats them whole. Local native tribes tell tales of an evil creature or spirit of the wilderness. They call it Wittigo, Wittigo, or Wittigo, which means the evil spirit that devours mankind. Its hunger for human flesh can't be satisfied, and it claims its victims during the night. The Wendigo typically stalks hunters or travelers in the woods and thrives in harsh conditions and freezing winters. They say the creature is gigantic, over 15 feet tall, and it was once human but was transformed into a monster centuries ago because it resorted to cannibalism while lost out in the remote snowbound forests. It still has the ability to take human form in order to trick and lure its victims to their demise. Though all of the descriptions of the creature vary slightly, the Wendigo is generally said to have glowing red eyes long yellowed fangs, and a really long tongue. Its body is matted with fur and some say it has the giant head of a deer, others the huge head of a wolf. Some say it is the harbinger of death and that if you hear the creature's voice calling your name faintly in the wind, in the lonely wilderness night, it means you are its next victim. Those who have heard the Wendigo have lost their minds and, unable to resist, went running out into the dark, snowy night, never to return. There are still many stories told of Wendigos that have been seen in North Ontario, near the cave of the Wendigo, and around the town Kenora, where a creature has been spotted by traders, trackers, and trappers for decades. There are many who still believe that the Wendigo roams the woods and the prairies of North Minnesota and Canada and particularly roamed around woods and forests in the coldest areas where food was scarce and survival was challenging. There is a condition known as Wendigo psychosis, under which people have reasonable access to other food sources would inexplicably become overcome with the need to consume human flesh. One such person is a Cree man named Swift Runner, famously slaughtered his entire family in 1878 and ate them, despite being only 25 miles from the Hudson Bay Company's supply post. In 1907, an OG Cree man named Jack Fiddler and his brother were arrested for killing over 14 people who claimed were Wendigos or about to become them. As tribes have been more and more influenced by surrounding cultures, the reports of Wendigo have declined over the years. But as with most evil spirits, it is doubtful this creature is gone for good.